Hey, Cubby, what's up? You're so close yet so far away. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, you're in New York and you're right down the street, but you, but you can't get away from rehearsal, and I understand that. No, dude, I'm like I'm at SNL right now, which is really exciting to be able to be on the show again. I'm like looking at in the in the dressing rooms. They have thousands of pictures of everyone that's done the show, including no doubt two of, with no doubt one. So it's really exciting. Wow, how long ago were you on uh, Saturday Night Live with no doubt? We were here for the Rocksteady record. Wow. And then we were here for um yeah right when Don't Speak was like blowing up around the universe. So tell me what it's like. A lot of people don't know. All right, you're on live Saturday night, but you've been working on stuff since what, Monday? Well, we basically get one, they do one big rehearsal where you come in and you do the, you know, sound check and all that stuff, rehearse, and then you do photographs, you do um, the promos, like the commercials or whatever. And then um, it's fun, though, because you can see all of the different actors, you know, comedians act and working on their skits and stuff like that. It's really fun. Well, now, you're the musical guest, but do they have you in any skits? I'm not in any skits, no. I thought maybe I should just focus on the music. Uh, um, but, but I'm sure they were trying to get you in a skit. I was invited to do a skit. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can do the songs first. I got two songs. We're doing. Um, we're gonna be doing Rich Girl and Eve's here, so that's really exciting. Get to hang out with that girl, and then we're gonna be doing Hollaback Girl, which is the next single, which is really exciting because um, we're about ready to get the video. We haven't even seen it yet, so we're waiting on that. And um, it's coming out. So I can't believe it's the third single. How'd that happen so I quick? know. It, it's blowing by. And by the way, Holla Back is like blowing up. Is it? Yes. And because we actually, we were dying to play it so much that we actually took it off the album and did our own edit because we wanted to play it. Because, you know, you kind of cussed in the album version. You did? I cussed? Yeah, just a little. Holy sh! <laughs> I can't believe that I said sh. <laughs> no, the song is awesome. Tell, you know, Shelly Wade, our midday disc jockey, kind of put it best. She says, whenever I hear that song, I feel like I'm like at a Friday football game, you know, like in, back in high school. It has that band feel to it. I mean, is that what your thought was when you did it? Yeah, actually, you know, I wrote that song with Pharrell from the Neptunes, and it was it was the last track that I basically did on the album, and I had already written the whole record, and I was like, you know, I really feel, if I was really honest with myself, that I don't have my, my kind of history attitude, don't um, mess around around with me song you know the kind of you know it's one of those things where I just felt like I needed that one modern track and um we went in and we wrote like two tracks together in two days and the third night like you know it was like a late night jam kind of thing and we wrote um Hollaback Girl together and we were both looking at each other like this is not happening right now this is crazy this is magic <laughs> this is crazy so it was, for us it was a real kind of intense um night and we were just looking at each other like this is crazy like I just said we were looking at each other like this is <laughs> wow so no so it was pretty intense for us as well we're really really excited about the song and um I knew that Pharrell was a very talented guy um but after that last session with him because I've worked with him quite a few times now I just he just blew me away you know he has, he has so much talent he has so much music inside him so well Gwen thank you for everything I mean and, and Jingle Ball you rocked it baby I'm telling thank you thank you it, it was just amazing seeing you a few months ago that was and exciting it, so we're going to watch you Saturday night. You're the musical guest. Who's, I, I can't remember who's hosting. Who, who is it? Ashton Kutcher. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. And uh, is he, have you seen him at all at the, uh, you know, throughout the rehearsals? Yeah, we got to do some little promos together. He's funny. Sure. And now uh, what's next after Saturday night? Are we going to be seeing you soon? Yeah, I'm going to be doing the TRL. I'm going to be doing David Letterman. Um, we're doing Good Morning America. So I'm kind of raiding New York. I'm like, let me spread my scent around a little bit. <laughs> well, Gwen, we love smelling you. All right. <laughs> we love smelling you. All right, dude. S spread that scent. Thanks for playing the record, and um, take care. Gwen Stefani, if you were a DJ here, how would you do it? All right. This is the next single off Love Angel Music, baby. This is Hollaback Girl. You got it on Z100.